Sometimes, even the bravest and most capable find themselves trapped in unimaginable situations. On April 9, 2007, five SAS soldiers were enjoying a night out at Queenscliff's Esplanade Hotel. They came from one of Australia's most secret facilities, Swan Island, where elite forces are trained for national security missions. Around 1.30 a.m., they began their journey back to the base in two cars, but the drive took a tragic turn. The leading car, with Sergeant Craig Lineker, Corporal Michael McAvoy, and Corporal David O'Neill, skidded off the road, crashing into the sea. Within moments, the car was submerged, trapping the three soldiers inside. Their comrades, identified only as soldiers 17 and 10, witnessed the crash and swam out, desperate to save their friends. Together, they all fought to free the trapped men, who were shouting for assistance. They tried everything to break the windows, but the tempered glass wouldn't give. Despite their heroic efforts, they couldn't break the windows in time. Investigators later found boot prints all over the windows and a door handle, torn off and used as a battering ram, showing the desperate struggle inside the car. The tragedy led to an inquiry, raising questions about the difficulties in escaping from a submerged vehicle. Imagine if they had this, the Lifesaver Safety Hammer, designed to break tempered glass windows in seconds. If five elite SAS soldiers couldn't escape without the right tool, what chance do you and I have?